My name is Ryan Nyquist, and we are talking about the UCI BMX Freestyle app, um, basically an app that's available for Apple and Android. And uh, I've been working with UCI and USA BMX uh, to get it developed to make sure it's right and uh, make sure it's a tool that BMX could benefit from. So the app itself, um, really cool concept. From the second I heard about it, I was like, I really want this to be something like this important to freestyle. Um, it kind of digitizes like freestyle. We never had a tool like this. Um, what it is is basically an app where you can upload your clips. Um, you may have heard it. We just did a collaboration with Simple Session where we gave away three all expense paid trips to Simple Session. Uh, the Simple Session contest was huge for us, so we're going to be doing more stuff like that. Um, you know, even smaller contests where we're doing just like prizes and giveaway stuff, but hopefully more like collaboration with events and things like that. So, you know, we saw really good success with that. Um, people were psyched on it. So, you know, that was amazing for us. And then, you know, just moving forward, like, you know, we get a lot of questions about like, you know, is this just about the Olympics? Is it just for people that want to go to the UCI World Cups and World Championships? And the answer is no. Like, it's not just about that. That's a part of it, but really it's about kind of grassroots. It's giving kids an opportunity to compete that may not have money to travel, um, that may not have, like, uh, a contest coming to their town. So it literally allows them to pull out the smartphone and film themselves at their local park, their local spot, whatever it is, and film a clip and upload it. And they can be a part of a contest, compete against pretty much people all over the world, all over the country, all over your region, whatever it may be. But it just gives them like kind of a clear path to competition. In the future, it's also going to be a way for them to kind of like uh, qualify into regional events. You know, through the app, through these digital contests, they can earn a spot to compete against you know, the top pros at these regional events. So really cool tool. Um, another thing in the works is uh, also push notifications. Um, basically trying to geo-target people to let them know what's going on around them. So if there's like, if you live in Arizona and there's a contest at Chandler Park, if you're within like a 50 or 100 mile radius, we can send you a push notification saying like, hey, on this date at this park, there's gonna be a contest, you know, and just give you the information. So like I said, when I first heard about it, the potential of this thing, the tool, like the power of it, like everybody has a smartphone so you can reach people like that we've never had that we've always kind of relied on you know putting an ad out or doing an instagram or facebook post so this goes directly to a person's phone so that part i'm super excited about um beyond that the uci is kind of you know obviously taking the the tool the the app it's the uci bmx freestyle app and they're pushing out to all the federations so this is where it gets to be like on the olympic level the national federations which is basically each country is going to say hey here's this amazing tool you can use it to like form a ranking, you can use it to identify riders, like it's got a lot of power to it and on that level it's going to be really cool to see where we go with it because when you have the UCI and their reach and backing it and pushing it out there to all the different countries and federations, I think there's like 189 or something like that, like that's pretty exciting news to me. The app is for everybody, it's pros, amateurs, male, female, um, really it's just, uh, it's geared towards you know, reaching out to everybody in the freestyle community. So that's that's kind of what we want is to basically tailor to everybody. And that's what the events are going to be. Like we'll have special events where it's like kind of themed, where it's like, you know, um, female only, you know, or pro only or amateur only. And, you know, that's, that's just the thing is like with these digital contests, you can really tailor it to be anything you want. So like Halloween, we could have like a Halloween contest where it's like coolest costume doing the coolest trick wins. I mean, it's really the sky's the limit. And that's when you get into that digital platform there's so much creativity involved that you can really design some really cool events. The app is available right now. It's free, so you know there's no reason not to download it. At least check it out. But um, like I said, it's available now. Download it, Apple or Android. And uh, it's worth it, man, because there's a lot of people on there right now. Um, it's growing, and it's becoming something where it's like people are just downloading clips like every single day. You know, and it's international, too, so it's not just like seeing your homie like down the block. It's like we have guys from Russia. We have guys from Brazil. Uh, Germany, it's just like it's really blowing up fast. So, and 2018 is going to be kind of an important year um, on the Olympic level because all the countries and federations are starting to have like teams and they're starting to back riders, and a lot of them are going to be using this tool to basically run their own digital contests and have a ranking system. So, on that aspect, it's going to be really important, but also in 2018, we're going to be using it to run a lot of events, digital qualifiers, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, like I said, every level amateur, pro, aspiring pros, male, female, it's like I feel like it works for everybody, so I definitely recommend at least checking it out, downloading it and signing up and just upload a clip and see what happens.